Well, good day, everyone. It is going to be a toasty afternoon here in South Florida. We're going to see temperatures in the lower 90s, feeling like the triple digits when you factor in the humidity. And as a result, we do have a heat advisory in effect for Palm Beach County. When you factor in the heat and the humidity, it is going to feel like 105 degrees. So during peak heating today, definitely take it easy. Again, it is going to feel quite warm out there when you factor in both the combination of the heat and the humidity. It's quite thick outside. The winds for the most part are offshore today and as a result most of the active weather will be on the eastern side of the lake. We'll show you Vipercast coming up. Otherwise as we head into the weekend Saturday a 40% chance of a shower or a storm but most of that is inland. As we head towards Sunday though that's different. We're going to have some showers during the morning along the coast and then later in the day the active weather moves farther to the west. We are watching a couple of tropical waves. We have one that will work its way into the Bay of Campeche as we head into the next couple of days. A low chance that it develops, but it may spin up into a tropical cyclone this weekend and then eventually work its way into Mexico. So no threat to South Florida. We're also watching this one right here. This one uh, is going to work its way eventually into the Caribbean. Computer models do take it across the Windward Islands and then into the Southern Caribbean. This one uh, is will likely get a name. It's going to be Beryl. So this one we'll watch as we head into the next couple of days. But long range computer models keep it to the south. Now, just behind that, we also have another system right here. This one has a very low chance of developing, only a 20% chance, but we'll monitor all of those. So here's Vipercast. As we head into the afternoon hours around 2 o'clock, you can see the sea breeze kicking on in. So we'll have a couple of showers here or there. And then later today, you can see the thunderstorms filling on in. But they're scattered about, so not everyone sees them. But those that do could be dealing with some very heavy rainfall. And then once we lose the daytime, I'm heating. Everything just simply fades away. This afternoon, 93 degrees, a 50% chance of those afternoon showers and storms. If you're going boating, seas are pretty good, two feet or less, but do watch out for those late day storms. And here's your first alert, seven day forecast. So 93 today, tomorrow, most of the storms are inland. Sunday, some morning showers along the coast, and then everything shifts farther to the west.